Hi there, I'm Ludwig, this is SQL Bootcamp Online Advanced Edition. So, every now and then you see some of the scripts that are, mm, well, written in a funny way. As a matter of fact, I did create a Reddit uh, thread asking about all of the craziest SQL uh, st statements and queries that you've ever seen. But that's not the point. The point is that if you take a look at any query, you may say, hey, white spaces do not matter, right? So whether I'll put some additional line breaks in here, boom, and execute this query, you'll see that it works perfectly fine. Like this one, again, if I'm executing the entire thing, works perfectly fine. Of course, I can put some additional spaces in here in between those, um, those columns as well. So let's do this like this right now, boom. Again, execute works perfectly fine. Now, if I want to, let me just remove those so you'll see that in a bit clearer way. Uh, if I wanted to, let's say, divide with additional spaces the object name. So as you can see in my select, I do have the from database schema and a table, right? So if I will just put some additional space in, spaces in here, boom, of course, it would again work. Please know that if I was to include those spaces not between the object names but within the square brackets, that would not work anymore, boom, because what SQL Server would be looking for, as you can see, is the object name of AdventureWorks person space 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 person, right? So again, this cannot be included in the actual uh, square brackets that will indicate that this entire thing is the object name. but since this is the advanced edition of SQL Bootcamp Online, what I wanted to show you is why those spaces do matter even in such a simple thing as your uh, as your where operator. So let me just do the very first thing, with, which is switching the context to the VentureWorks database, like this, but like this, and then uh, freeing the cache of my uh, of my SQL Server. Now. I'll just make a quick look at the contents of my uh, of my query uh, plan of my cached plans. So you'll see that indeed this is absolutely empty. And right now I wanted to run three three queries so you can see that those white spaces really indeed matter. So let's take a quick look at those queries of mine. So in here I'm just creating a simple join, right? I'm selecting data from the sales order header, uh, joining it with the sales order detail. All of that data comes from the uh, typical adventure or database that you will see on every Microsoft course. Uh, I'm joining through the uh, order, uh, order ID uh, column, and then I'm just searching for the sales order ID of 43667 with the unit price that is greater than 10. That's it. Now, on top of that, I will write another query that is exactly the same in terms of the results that it will generate. So please note that this query, you can see that sales order header with the detail, the order ID and the price, sales order header with the detail, sales order ID, boom, and the price. Exactly the same thing. The only difference between those two queries is the way I'm pointing to this particular order ID. You can see that right now I see the 43667 with one additional space in here, while here I do not have that space, right? So there is one space in here, there is one and two spaces in here, right? So two queries, exactly the same, exactly the same results. You know what, let me just select those and even include the actual, I'll select that I want to include the actual execution plan so you'll see that those two queries work exactly the same, all right? Boom, I'll hit execute, boom, exactly the same, uh, exactly the same results, ta-dam, ta-dam, each one of them has three rows in the messages, I'll see three rows for the first one, one row affected for the execution plan, three rows for the second one, and one row affected for the second one. Again, the query plans look exactly the same one by one. I do have both uh, clustered index six, and each one of those queries are 50, take 50% 50 of the cost of those queries. So they are exactly the same, right? Now, the thing is that if I took a look into my query cache, 
boom, for all of those queries that I just run in here, just select the entire thing in here, boom, 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 I'll execute it, and please note that even though the query hash is the same because it refers to the very same objects, the handles and the actual plans are being stored separately. Because if you'll take a look at those queries that they refer to, there is a query without and there is a query with one additional space. So contrary to the popular belief, those spaces do matter. Now, what do you do in order to uh, what do you do in order to make sure that you will not end up in a situation that every single query, depending on whether someone put that space in or not, whether it will generate a new generate uh, the new query plan? Well, subscribe to SQL Bootcamp Online and find out because that's the content on the very next video just after this one. I'm Ludwig, welcome to SQL Bootcamp Online and see you on the other side.